guys welcome back to my channel i am so by the way my shirt says beer babe and it's real fitting because i'm about to go open a beer it's only noon it's five o'clock somewhere anyway i'm so excited for today's video because da -da -da -da, bubble wrap but also this package is from none other than Morphe. I am so, so excited. So, but we're out. There's so much of it. Ugh. So, in today's vid, I'm going to be testing out the Morphe foundation, concealer, powder, and then I also got a primer. So, I'm stoked. <coughs> I'm dying. Okay. Um, this also came open like this, so... But it's whatever. We're still going to try it. I have everything from that collection that launched. The foundation, the concealer, the powder, and a primer. So, I'm, I'm legit quaking in my seat. I have watched, like, one or two reviews. But, you know, not enough to, like, persuade me. So, I'm going to make my own decisions on this. So, I'm really excited. If you're excited too, then just keep watching. That was cringeworthy. But, yes. If you want to see my thoughts on this foundation, then just keep watching. Um, I just did some of these makeup yesterday, so I'm still kind of all packed up. Like, in my little kit, you know? My bag, my kit. So, if I'm moving around, it's because, you know, I still have everything all... Please stop calling me but... Okay. So, I am just going to quickly moisturize before I um, go ahead and apply anything. Okay, I am moisturized to the gods. So, I'm going to open the Morphe Foundation Primer. This one is the Revitalizer foundation primer blurs and softens imperfections instantly makes skin feel moisturized free of oils and parabens let's check her out where's my sheet i don't know where i put my um to see how much everything was maybe i can find it on my phone hold please oh this primer was twelve dollars twelve dollars okay a little bit on the back of my hand just about that much. Literally smells like nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'm just going to start with one side because it did say that it blurs. So I'm going to do one side and then I'm going to see if there's any difference from this side to the other side, you know what I mean? Mm, no. I see not too much blurring. You know, the, uh, oh, now I'm getting a scent. Kind of lotion-y. That's what I'm smelling. Lotion. I mean, maybe a little bit, but not anything that I'm like, whoa, bitch. I'm going to be using a beauty blender today to apply the foundation. Beauty blender is always my preferred method of applying, so I'm just going to do things the way that I normally would. So this is the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F1120. I just kind of guesstimated what I would be. You know, it's hard if you can't go in and match it. So, this is 24 hour long wear, sweat proof, transfer resistant, water resistant, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, great for all skin types. I find that hard to believe. If it's matte, how is it great for all skin types? Because someone who's more dry is not going to want a matte foundation. Am I wrong? I'm just saying. So, this is 
was $18. Yes. $18. I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Oh my god. It smells kind of like the, uh, the Wet n Wild foundation. If any of you use that, you know that smell it has. It's not, it's not bad, but it has like a little bit of a chemically smell. That might be too much. I'm just going to do one, two, three, whatever. We're just going in. Alrighty. Here we go. Did I do a good job? Huh, I did. Not bad. Not bad for an old rookie. Ugh, my skin looks... You can see everything. <laughs> You know how some foundations just make you look nice and airbrushed? This isn't one of them. Just saying. It looks very obvious on the skin. Like you know that it's there. I look old. Like it makes me look old. I'm making a face it's because my face literally feels oh oh my gosh you can just the texture on my nose right here is just awful I mean my skin looks really not good you know I do have some problem areas I do have texture I do have all of that I'm normal I'm human you know that's a thing but When picking out a foundation, you don't want it to look, accentuate that. I don't know, maybe it'll change in a little bit. Okay, moving on to the Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade C155. This guy was, I believe, yeah, $9. So this is C155 Neutral. That's what it says. It doesn't tell me if the foundation was neutral, but I'm pretty sure. So, let's check out the applicator. Okay, so it has a nice little doe footy applicator. That's nice. Okay. Going in with my sponge. I thought that was supposed to be full coverage. That did nothing for covering my dark circles. <laughs> Honestly. That... I mean, understandably, the sponge definitely shears... You know, is supposed to shear things out a little bit. However... The Tarte Shape Tape um, and also the Too Faced Born This Way concealers are both very full coverage and I applied the same amount as I did with this one and it does a very good, I mean seriously you can still very much so see. This did not a good job at all. Oh you guys. the textures on my face I mean it just like clings to every sort of lot ew 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 okay moving on let's try and salvage this I'm going to try I promise 
Okay, so next is the Morphe Filter Effect Finishing Powder. Buildable to sheer, buildable sheer to medium coverage, creamy lightweight formula, shine free and oil absorbing, selfie approved. We shall see. <laughs> So I got this in filter number two, and this guy was $12 as well. So, oh, a little filmy. Um, I'm actually going to go in under my eyes. I don't really want to go in under my eyes with something like that. So first I'm going to take just my Maybelline setting powder, and I'm going to set under my eyes with this. And then I'll set the rest of my face with that powder. I'm going to take my big fluffy powder brush from Morphe and I am just going to pick up some product on there and just start stamping this in. And then buffing. Stamp and buff. I mean this half of my face has the powder on it. It did give me a very smooth finish. The powder did, for sure. But my skin just looks so yucky. Ugh. I mean, just yuck. I did well on the color for buying it online. Just yucky though. My skin just looks yucky. Like, goo. Mm. This is the foundation so far. <clears throat> it is one o'clock on the dot. Get that close. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then we'll check back in with you guys. Okay, you guys, I am back. I am done with my makeup. For my eyes, I used the James Charles um, palette from Morphe. <clears throat> and then um, my lashes are the Flutter Lashes in the style Lovable. Yeah, Lovable. How cute is this little eyelash case? So cute. A box. Eyelash box. Anyway, it is now uh, 2 o'clock. I am going to check on my face makeup. My face feels so dry. <laughs> Oh, dry, but um, yeah, I'm gonna check on it really quick. Oh, I forgot to do a spritz. This is my last step the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. If any of you have this, or any of you do not have this, but any of you do any like freelance work or anything like that, you need to get this. Every time I spray this on a client, they literally are like, oh my god, that feels amazing. Um, the girl I did yesterday, I sprayed it on her, she's like, can you do that again? <laughs> she wanted it again, so you need to get that. Also, it's amazing. But um, anyway, let's check. Wow, I forgot to put lipstick on. Okay. Looking at my face, it doesn't look bad. Oh, that's really. I'm feeling. Miserably. doesn't look bad it just it's just heavy you know like it's noticeably there and don't get me wrong I love full coverage so I'm okay with like I know when I put on a full coverage foundation like it's gonna obviously be there like I'm not gonna be able to hide it from anybody that I'm wearing makeup but let's be honest I'm gonna go out look like this no makeup this is natural no makeup bitch I got blue under my eyes. What well, about that is natural? No. You know, so like I know it's there, it just 
like I look very like ugh, like wrinkly and very cakey you know and it is that full coverage and that's what you have to be careful with when you are using a full coverage foundation is that it can look really cakey really quick if you use too much of it I don't know I don't know how I feel right now it's only two o'clock it's only been on for like two hours I mean it just you can see everything that's my downfall but I'm gonna go about my day go about my Sunday go about my day of Jesus and then I will check back in with you guys in a little bit bye see you in a little bit my chair makes so much noise oh this is what it looks like so far I look old. Old. Hey. Okay, I have a question. I'm not going to show you on camera, but I do have a question. So I'm testing out a new foundation today. How does my face look? No, honest though. I know, but like, like, does it look like cakey or heavy or gross? Do I look old and haggard? Oscar's ass is in my face, so that must mean something. <laughs> okay, well, Jason says it looks okay, so we'll just keep going and figuring it out. I think... I think it just looks heavy. I always wear a lot of makeup, so he won't know. <laughs> okay. Hello. Don't mind my boyfriend. He's on the phone doing business. I have taken my lashes off. The time has come. Six o'clock. I'm a old person. I go to bed or not going to bed yet, but the time has come for me to take off the makeup. It's been like eight hours. Eight hours. Let me grab a mirror. Eight hours. So, yeah, this looks really bad. So it's really broken up around my nose. My nose is my problem area because I do get slightly oily. Um, so like on the tip right here and then around right here. I don't know if you can see. So like right here and then on the tip. And then also on this side right here. On the chin too, but it just looks like it's dissolved, but it's so, also just don't, don't buy that concealer because there's nothing that it covered under my eyes. Like my under eyes are still dark AF. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, honestly, if you're in the shop, if you're, if you're in the works for a new concealer. I would check out the um, Tarte Shape Tape or um, the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, my face doesn't look awful, but it just, it looks super just everything that you lay on top of this just it just looks like more and more and more layers if that makes sense like it just continuously starts to look heavier and heavier and heavier the more that you put on it on my other foundation my tried and true so I love Too Faced Born This Way that's my favorite and also the Laura Mercier uh what's it called Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. So these two are my tried and true. And anything you lay on top of these looks beautiful. It doesn't look heavy. It doesn't look cakey. Everything kind of blends on top of each other. Everything melts in together. Um, for this, it definitely looks like, okay, foundation, okay, powder, okay, bronzer, okay, blush, okay, highlight. Like everything is like on top. Like it's not seeping in together you know under my eyes just looks so heavy like so heavy and I don't 
even feel like I used that much of it. I used the normal of what I would use. It's just so, it's just, there's not, there's no coverage there at all. I don't feel like, and I feel like it claims to be a full coverage and it's, there's none at all. Um, yeah, my lines, my texture, everything is just more prominent, you know, and the point of makeup, the point of makeup is not to make us look better, but it's just to make us feel better about ourselves, right? I love makeup because I can get creative with it, and when I put on my foundation, I don't want it to accentuate anything. I kind of want it to just be airbrushed, and that's not what I'm finding here. Um... So yeah, it's most broken up around my nose, and like this, it's just cake. It's just, it's just caked. So I don't know if you want my recommendations. Ten out of ten would not recommend. I'd recommend something else. Um, if you're looking for something full coverage, you know, I'd maybe check out. If if you're not wanting to spend a pretty penny. I would check out the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. This is a great affordable option and it is buildable. It's beautiful on the skin. This is a really good option. If you are wanting to spend more and you want something super full coverage, the Marc Jacobs Foundation is very, very full coverage and that's a beautiful foundation. Um, I feel like with the Too Faced Born this way, I get medium to full and it leaves a beautiful finish. So. There's definitely better options out there. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan. I was hoping that I would be. I was hoping that it would take the cake compared to some others. But it did not. Um, I did, I didn't mind the powder, if I'm being honest. I didn't mind it. I'm not a huge fan of pressed powder like this. But for something on the go to blot. I'll use it um, and then the uh, the primer I don't feel like it did really anything um, if I'm going to use something to blur and soften I would probably use the Smashbox um, primer the why am I blanking thank you my watch tells me when I need to breathe um, but there is a Smashbox primer. I can't think of it now, but I would use that. Or I'm pretty sure L'Oreal or Maybelline has a uh, blurring primer that is wonderful. So I would probably use one of those options. Um, I hope maybe they'll come out with a different foundation. I'm really rooting for them. Um, this was a miss for me, but maybe they'll come out with one that's like, you know, hydrating or in the middle. But today it was a flop for me. I don't even know how I could make it work. It, I'd probably have to cake on a million layers of my backlight priming filter and, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just today I'm not, not feeling it. So, yeah, my face looks really shitty. I mean, we did go eat, but, like, I didn't eat with my fucking nose. You know what I mean? Anyway. That was a miss for me, but my eye makeup, I'm still digging. It's the James Charles. So, yeah. Anyway. That is my review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've all had a wonderful Sunday. You'll probably be seeing this sometime in the upcoming week. Um, so yeah, I'm not sick anymore. I was super sick for a long time. Now I'm not. I'm feeling better. My life is back together and back to filming and back to all of those things. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Right? So you never miss a video
I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.